In Java 7, once you know how to use the path class to point to a directory or a file, it's another simple step to start managing those files to be able to copy, delete, and move them around. To do this, you use a class called Files, the second major part of this new package. I'm working in a project where I have a file called lorem-ipsum.txt, and it's stored within a Files folder within the project. And within my main code, I've created a path object called source that points to that file using a relative location. This string should work exactly the same regardless of whether you're working on Mac or Windows. I'm getting a reference to the file and then outputting the file name. I'll run the code and I'll see the output file name in the console. Now I'm going to show how to copy and how to delete files. Before I do this with code, I'm going to make a copy of the file so just in case I mess up, I'll be able to restore it. So I'll copy and paste it, and I'll name the new file backup.txt. Now I'm ready to do some copying, deleting, and moving. First, I'll copy the file. To copy a file, you need both a source path and a target path. I'll create a new path object and I'll get its reference from paths.get and I'll pass in a name of files slash newfile.txt. Now I'll use the files class. I'll type the name of the class and press control space and choose it from the java.nio.file package. I'm not going to be creating an instance of the files class. Instead, I'll be calling static methods. So from here, I'll type a period and then call the copy method. You'll see that there are three different versions of the copy method. I'm going to use the last one that receives a source and a target both data typed as a path. I'll set the first argument to source and the second to target. If you like, you can also pass in a copy option. You can get available copy options from an enumerator class called standard copy option. And I'll use a copy option of replace existing so that if that file already exists, it'll be copied again. I'll save my changes, then I'll restore my editor, and I'll run the code. When the code is executed, I'll come back to my package explorer, and I'll refresh. And I'll see that my new file has been created. Now, because I used the copy option of replace existing, I can run this code again, and I won't run into any errors. But if I were to remove that option, I'll just take it off and leave just source and target as the arguments passed into the copy method, then I would get an error. I'll say no, I don't want to open the debug perspective. I already know what I did wrong. I'll terminate, return to the Java perspective, and I'll put that argument back in. So that's how we copy files. Now I'll show you how to delete a file. I'll create a new path object called toDelete, and I'll get its reference from paths.get, and I'll pass in a reference of files slash to delete.txt. This file doesn't exist yet, but I'm going to create it manually. I'll save my changes. I'll go back to the package explorer. I'll copy the backup.txt file by pressing Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac, and then Control V or Command V to paste it in. And I'll call this one to delete.txt. So now I have a file I can delete. I'll come back to my code. So now I've created the file manually and I've indicated where it is in my get method and now I actually need to delete it. I'll call files.delete and I'll pass in the to delete path object. Then I'll use a little bit of system output and I'll output the text file deleted. I'll run the code. I get the output file deleted. I'll restore so I can see my package explorer and this time I'll press F5 to refresh and I'll see that the file has been deleted from the file system. Finally, I'll show you how to create a new directory and then move an existing directory into that directory. I'm going to comment out the code for deleting. We'll leave it in there so we can see it later on. And then I'll create a new path representing a directory that I want to create. I'll name this new dir for new directory and I'll use the syntax paths.get and I'll type in the address of the directory I want to create, file slash neuter. 
Then I'll create it using the files class, using files.create directory, and I'll pass in my new directory path. I'll save my changes and run the code. I don't get any output because I didn't put any in my code. But then I'll come back to my package explorer, I'll refresh, and I'll see that the new directory has been created. And now I'll move a file into the new directory. I'll keep that code in there, so for the moment I'm going to manually delete the directory that was just created. And then here's the code for moving a file. I already have the source path, and that's the file I'm going to move. And I'm going to use a method of the new directory path called resolve. When you call the resolve method, and you pass in the file name of an existing path as a string, that results in a new path representing where you want to move the object. Here's the entire code. Files.move, and I'll first pass in the source path. I'm going to need a little bit more width. This is going to take a bit of code. Then I'll call neuter.resolve, and I'll pass in source.getFileName. Then I'll move the cursor to just before the ending parenthesis, and on the next line, I'll add the copy option of replace existing. I'll close up my code and finish off the statement, make sure I don't have any errors. Then I'll run the code. I don't get any errors, so that's good news. I'll come back to the Package Explorer, I'll refresh, and I'll see that my Ipsum Lorem file is gone, but I have a new directory, and there the file is. I both created the directory and moved it from one location to another with just a couple of lines of code. You'll see that the Files class greatly simplifies the process of managing your files in your Java applications. As always, take a look at the documentation. I'll click on the name of the files class and go to Dynamic Help, and then into the documentation, and from there into the method list. And you'll see various ways of copying, creating directories, creating symbolic links, deleting, finding out whether a path is a directory or not, and many, many other tasks. In the past, I might have used code from the Apache Commons for these sorts of tools, because the Apache Commons make things a lot simpler than the JDK did. But with Java 7, the new Files class encapsulates these sorts of very common file management tasks, and you should be able to do most of what you need using this new class.